everybody it's Catherine and happy Monday happy Easter Monday to you all those of you that celebrate like us happy Easter have a very happy Easter so sorry I've been missing in action but David's been in hospital and um, yeah been in hospital again with his heart and it's uh, he's okay he's home and he's okay now um, <clears throat> We know all what the, the issues are, it's something that's not going to go away and sometimes he has these episodes that are worse than others and uh, yeah, I have to get the ambulance out. So we were going to launch this Friday but he worked really hard last week and uh, we're both very excited about this is the launch of the aquatic digital kit and I love it and hopefully it will make sense why I was doing the slow stitch cover that I'm doing um, hopefully it will make sense now so uh, this is we've split it into two kits because uh, there's quite a lot to it so we've got aquatic one which is this and these are the main papers and then we've got aquatic two which I'll come on to are um, the fussy cut images and tags now this isn't normally something that um, I would work with I'm not necessarily drawn to working uh, with fish or something like this the colours are very much me uh, and then David started creating this and I was just oof we must have that it's wow so these are the main papers now <clears throat> there's something very special about these in as much that uh, many of the backgrounds are actually taken um, from actual pieces of art of David's so he actually painted these backgrounds and then obviously um, photographed them put them in and digitalized all the other stuff on top it's taken many 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 weeks of work so i do hope you love them so look at this one i just love that background this one you can see there's all sorts of hazy background in there with the shells this one this has got the background and then it's actually I don't know if you can tell from there but this is a massive clamshell I think that's then um, overlaid on top I mean just absolutely fabulous look at that can't wait to uh, turn these into a journal then I've given you a plain one so actual fact that is the um, the background from David's art I mean that's gorgeous in its own right <laughs> gorgeous gorgeous and then this one so another background and gorgeous see is that gorgeous gorgeous colours gorgeous I want to start bringing some of the other elements in you will see how they all coordinate beautifully this one one of my favorites I love this well I love them all but again one of the one of the proper real uh, backgrounds and uh, this is the one where I got my inspiration for my uh, cover in fact I don't I think it's in the lounge because I was doing some beadwork on it yesterday so this is the fish that's coming in with the black hole in it the black false eye I mean that's just oh I'm excited look at this little gang and again we've got the very detailed very uh, clamshell on that uh, then in this um, you've got four um, journal cards in this or you know if you want you can still make pages out of it or you can um, cut them in half and you know you can make then a, a 
card you know that's uh, folded at the top that sort of thing so you can do what you like then you've got another one of the plain backgrounds to play with and then this one this one's gorgeous and it's got um, about two uh, th two backgrounds with um, all tiling as well superimposed under there I love these I love these flat fish look at them this has got uh, a script background now you can cut round these if you want so you can fussy cut round there are long fish and flat fish so if you don't want to use them as full pages you can fussy cut round although there are uh, images without backgrounds in the fussy cut uh, section and also like for example um, what I'm hoping to do is I want to do some things laminated some laminated tags so we have got fish of the same size that you can um, back to back to be able to do that and this gorgeous gorgeous shells so if you can imagine this these these shells are the ones that is blown up and superimposed they're just gorgeous okay so that is aquatic one that is the main papers i just can't stop looking at them really and then we've got a Aquatic 2, this is fussy cut images and tags. So, I think I'm the right way around, sort of. Okay. And I just love the fact that they've got the real art backgrounds to them. This has not been created in Photoshop. The, you know, the layers and everything have, but the backgrounds are real, painted by David so we've got an assortment of tags on here we've got again i wanted some circular ones and some little uh, oblong disc ones we've got eight of these and behind it it's again it's got the shell and background and shell layered up and script These are quite abstract, but I just love the colours in those. Look at these dudes. Look at these. They've got some personality, these have. They look rather grumpy, I think, fish. <laughs> fish look grumpy. <laughs> We've got some shells on that as well. Can't wait to start playing with these. Then we've got this gang that's actually in rougher water. So again, that's the lovely sea background. We've got some lovely coral and shells on here. Oh, this is one of my faves. I have to say it's just because it's my colours, the teals and, and beiges. And um, you've got some little tags here. You've got some larger tags. And you can either punch a hole in them or we've left some of these without a, a punch hole in case you wanted to put some fabric toppers or whatever on those. Love them. So you get quite a lot in each kit. I think there's 13 pages in each kit. Then you've got some plain but uh, again they've got the background and then it's got images superimposed on it just to get it give it a uh, a different finish and you can put anything you want on those backgrounds there then we've got some fussy cutting pages i never thought i'd be so excited to be cutting out some fish <laughs> oh i love them i love these flat fish and I understand these with the holes in that that, that that these markings should I say not holes but the markings that I'm trying to put on my on my cover. Um, <clears throat> David tells me that it's it's so that predators think they've got two eyes so they give the impression they're a lot larger than they really are makes them more scary. And we've got some long fish so we've got long fish and flat fish. 
plenty to cut out there and then we've got a page of shell fussy cutting these will be nice I think these would look really lovely with some glossy accents or if you do some embossing powders on and, and give them a really lovely sheen I think I'll have a go at that because I think these will be quite stunning if you give them that treatment and we've got some here but again these are on a lovely background so they're on a lovely sea background and it's got script so with these if you don't want to fussy cut uh, every little squiddle and fin um, you can cut them out you know you could get even get your um, serrated scissors out and um, you know you could make a stamp out of them for example um, you know you could uh, oh look I've got some I bet you're impressed now aren't you that I can just uh, get my scissors out out of my craft car um, so let's let's have a look at this why am I going to not make a mess of everything um, I think we'll have one of these middle ones I know this is a fancy but just for as example how easy it would be to make I'm not the world's best cutter outer cutter outer in these <clears throat> You, you get the gist of that but look at that now you've got ink that up and you've got a you've got a lovely stamp to put in a journal so there are that's why we put some backgrounds on these because you might not want to always you know cut, cut, cut exact you know be really exacting um, you might just want to cut round so you've got a bit of this, you've got a bit of this round it. You know, I can't always be bothered to go around every little fin. You've still then got a decent fussy cut image. You know so that just gives you a few examples really I know I've just done it off the cuff on the hoof I'm doing on the hoof again and um, the same here with your flatfish so again this has got some lovely sea background and some script that way around and um, you know you can do whatever you want you can make some little journal cards with these uh, you can make um, you know you can make a tag you can do all sorts with it and if you want you can always use it as an extra for a page so there's lots of possibilities with this is the number two and um, yeah and also we've done it like that that you know if you haven't got a great amount to spend you can buy one one week say the papers or you could buy the tags one week and be working on those and then the next week you can buy the papers and start putting your journal together and so it makes it you know a, a really good a good flexible kit for you now you see made a right mess of that <laughs> but just to give you a bit of an idea uh, so that is Aquatic 2. Um, I'll just have a play with this because our, our computer, as I was saying, not computer, the uh, terrible trouble with the Eco printer, the Epson Eco. So we've had our massive Epson out, which is David's big photographic printer. And I know I can rely on doing anything on that, more or less. So I had done this gorgeous although at first it didn't like it I had to stick something else on it but look at this on Vela absolutely 
absolutely stunning. Look at it on that background. So we've got a plain some green paper behind it. It prints great on the big one, the big. Uh, whereas the eco tank doesn't like it, and you can see, you know, this is where I had to go in it. You don't want it dragging it in and getting ink all over. That's how you get your lines all over everywhere. Am I right way around or am I not? David will tell me. I can't remember. You could have it either, couldn't you? I just did this on uh, Bonder Web. So I just put some plain cotton. I ironed it on Bonder Web. And actually that went through our big printer. And so I've got some cloth, cloth fishes to be playing with. But I would very much like this. It's quite a thick vellum that I've had ages. So I'm not sure what, what thickness it is. So I was just having a play with that. And then um, I've just just been playing with and uh, <clears throat> putting together. So with the four journaling cards, although you can make journaling cards out of the big pages, whatever. Um, I've just put some uh, lovely sewn seam binding on there, sewn it across there. So you could have those as side tucks in your pockets. And... Uh, have them fish the right way around Catherine so they are looking lovely and then I I've just been playing with um, with the tags and basically just put some of the wide eyelets on and some beautiful uh, seam binding which I always get from uh, splattered ink here on Etsy and put a little dangle on as well I thought went. Hoping these are all in. How gorgeous are they? Put one of my thank you to Nola. That's uh, one of my lovely dragonfly charms that she sent in Happy Mail. Look at this blue fish. I love these. Um, and I've just put some extra little danglers on there. And that's got some um, sari silk binding. And then of course, yeah, you know, you can cut anything out and you can have the, you can do all sorts. The possibilities are endless. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, as soon as we can, we will get that put in the Etsy shop. Um, I do hope you love it as much as we do. Um, I can't wait can't wait to start putting my journal together and uh, I just love them so thank you for joining us today take care out there and I'll see you very soon bye for now mm -hmm.